What is happening? First off, happy Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we are getting ready to start grilling and swimming. Uh, took a day off fishing so we can spend some time with the family, but fished the weekend. So I hope you guys had a just spectacular weekend with your all's family and friends, and most of all, all of our veterans. Guys, today's what it's all about. Today's when you go thank those true fish that are in your, your family, your friends. You buy them something to eat, you get them a cold beer, pat them on the back, you thank them. Because if you're watching this channel, it means you probably fish. We wouldn't get to have these days where we're just out fishing after work or we're out grilling and barbecuing with our family and friends without all of our troops and everything making that ultimate sacrifice for us there's a bug on the lens we'll get him off there so with that said if you're a veteran with a pastor present from the hicks family here at uh bass life guys i thank you so much because i think we forget a lot of the times what the sacrifice them guys are over there right now sweating their butts off fighting for the cause so we can uh, so we can have these days so again, guys, by my heart, thank you all so, so much. If you're overseas right now and you get in, you live in East Tennessee, you give me a shout. We'll go fishing one day. I promise you. Get into the video. So, as the title says, we're going to do a comparison. The two hottest chatterbaits or uh, bladed jigs, wherever you're from, whatever you call them, uh, we're going to kind of compare them. Now, you guys know me if you watch my videos. I fish a jackhammer a lot. Uh, so this is not necessarily to replace anything in my box or you know better or worse but let's just see if there is any differences so like i said you can see this jackhammer thunder cricket both of these i ordered from tackle warehouse jackhammer is 15.99 thunder cricket was 13.99 so two dollar difference not the end of the world both of them kind of expensive but you know it's not something you got to buy a bunch of to have in your box a few of few colors few sizes uh, I mean, it, it gets you by. So, again, does it catch more fish than a regular chatterbait like that? I'm not going to say it does. I'm just kind of partial to this right here, especially. And if you can see on my faithful Dixie Custom Rod Chatter Stick, and that's the glass rod, again, built just for chatterbait. That color right there is called Spot Remover. And I've just got a little Rage Menace on there. I live, again, on Norris Lake. It's a deep, clear lake, so that kind of translucent, kind of white with just I mean, a hint of chartreuse. Guys, it's a killer on my lake. But what I tried to do is pick some colors that, that kind of, let me get them back in here, close kind of a white and chartreuse. The only difference is this Thunder Cricket, it's actually got a painted blade, which it's a white painted blade, and I, and I really like that because I think in some colored water, it may do really well. So I'm gonna get these out of the packet and let's just kind of look at them up close before we put them in the pool and do some side-by-side -side action. I'm gonna try to do on top of the water and under the water and then rod action. Do we so we can kind of get an idea on if they're kind of similar, if one vibrates a little more than the other or what have you. So let's get them out. And again, these are both from Tackle Warehouse. And I'm not sponsored by either. <laughs> so this is a, just a, tr a true comparison. Uh, so again, dropped it. So we got a painted blade versus just a chrome blade. I can already see a couple differences. The heads are a little bit different. This would be the jackhammer. It's, you know, these are both 3 8 of an ounce. The jackhammer looks a little bit smaller. Uh, this Thunder Creek is a little bigger, may do a little more vibration. Blades, pretty close in comparison. Uh, they're shaped a little different, but I wouldn't see a huge difference. This is the big difference I'm seeing, guys. Jackhammer on bottom, Thunder Cricket on top. That Thunder Cricket has got a slightly bigger hook. Um, I like that. I like that. I've lost a few fish on this, not necessarily the bait's fault, could be user error, but uh, anytime you can get just a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, I mean it sets up definitely taller, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a difference, that's probably like a 4 aught and a 5 aught, give or take, you won't look that up for yourself, but uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get these suckers in the water, see if any of them vibrate more than the other, uh, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But I think it's be a, a really good comparison. And uh, maybe we can find a place for both of them in our tackle box, or maybe one will outperform. So stay tuned. Let's head to the water again. Thank you guys, all of our troops out there, and thank you to all the people watching this video right now. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe to this video, it helps me so much to keep these videos coming. But uh, hey, 
let's get to the pool and let's compare these two. All right, so I don't know how good that's gonna come out on video as far as the water footage, but the biggest few things I noticed, and I want you to turn the audio up if you didn't have your audio up real loud, was uh, the difference when they come by the camera. So the jack camera clearly made a different noise. It was a higher pitch, faster, tighter sound uh, versus this right here was the, uh, the Thunder Cricket was more of a lower pitch thumping sound and it may have a little do where this one's a painted blade and this one is a chrome blade not sure but clearly this one was definitely louder it was definitely louder in the water and when i was casting and again it was on a seven foot one glass chatter stick made for chatter put it in the camera dixie custom rod chatter stick it's made just for chatter baits awesome awesome rod and that's on a loose speed spool seven to one ratio fluorocarbon line um so, so can I tell a big difference? A little. I could feel in the rod a little more vibration in the jackhammer. I mean, you know, it was subtle, but just, I mean, difference is difference. But I still think there's a place for uh, this Thunder Cricket. And the one thing I really love about this Thunder Cricket is that hook size. I mean, I'm gonna zoom it. That is a huge hook. And big hook, I mean, that, that, that's a fish catcher. And it's sharp, I mean, that thing, yeah, there's no way I can get that on camera, but the point, usually on a big hook, you kind of sacrifice point. That thing is wicked sharp. So, am I going to say one's better than the other, or which one do I like the most? I mean, come on, it's like asking me to pick which favorite child I like the most. But, so, I'm probably going to keep throwing that jackhammer, uh, but I think uh, with this painted blade, I think when I get in some muddy water, uh, that right there may do good throw off a little more flash but the sound on the jack camera it's a difference to me and the vibration on the jack camera was definitely I, I, judging by the size of the head on this thunder cricket i thought it would have a little more vibration but this is just one guy's opinion again not sponsored um I, honestly i mean you get out there one may not i mean it's probably six one way half dozen another but uh just personal so far just what i've tested in in, in a swimming pool that was just, you know, it's a 30 foot pool, so I couldn't get like these big long casts. But I'm gonna experiment a little more with them. But right now, I'm still pulling for that jackhammer. Probably gonna keep fishing it. But I'm gonna give this one, this guy a chance. Uh, and, oh, and the other thing I noticed, it took a little more to make this blade kick in than this one right here. And uh, one, you probably cannot see this. I'm gonna try to show it. But the top of it, the jackhammer is bent slightly in a little more than the Thunder Cricket. So it took a little more oomph to get this sucker rolling and kind of get it thumping in the water. So I'd say I'm about 75% on the Jackhammer, 25% on the Thunder Cricket. The big thing on the Thunder Cricket is that hook. If it wasn't for that big hook, I would probably be more like 100% on the Jackhammer. But again, hey, that's just one man's opinion. Uh, I encourage you all to get out there and try them for yourself. Please comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think, personal experiences, maybe, uh, you know, th sh throw some clips of you guys fishing, you know, I can maybe help you post them, things like that, get them out there, but I'm going to keep fishing them, and I'll keep letting you know, but I hope this helps you, uh, but I encourage you to, you know, buy one of each, try for yourself, you know, different lakes, you know, different sounds may make a difference in, uh, in the different lakes, 
But uh, right now, I'm still pulling for that Jack Hammer just a little bit more. But I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. All right, Fight Lines, guys.